In this next segment, we're doing a deep dive on David C. Jones and see the many facets to this diamond. <laughs> Hi, viewers. We're here to interview David C. Jones, an extraordinary gay person, yet another one in my series. And he is an actor, a keynote speaker, a writer, a filmmaker, a teacher, a mentor, and, on a personal note, my personal tennis coach. With no further ado, let's meet David C. Jones. So I'm kind of an audience engagement specialist. A friend of mine gave me that na uh, title a while ago. And yeah, almost everything I do reflects uh, uh, my love and appreciation of large masses of people. One-on-one, -on -one, a little more iffy. <laughs> One of the things that I really love doing is uh, having opportunities to play as many different characters as possible. Sometimes that's because of a show. Uh, where I've been cast in something, where I'm playing five, two or five different characters, and sometimes I just create them on my own. And one of the things that's sort of common to all of them, the, all of the characters are, are heavily flawed, uh, and all of them are often victims of their own folly. And I think that's something that I'm really, I struggle with, that I'm a, a Sometimes my own, I think we all are, I don't think I'm unique in this, we're sometimes victims of ourselves. And so I exercise those demons um, through characters where I make them sometimes incredibly flawed or tragic or, or, or sad or you just want to go, oh my God, wake up. <laughs> you realize you're doing this to yourself. <laughs> so, so that's what's sort of common to all of the characters. They're all, they're all part of me. Who is the real David C. Jones? And I had one friend say to me once, uh, um, man, you get really dark when you're in one-on-one -on -one conversations. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry. I like to play, I like to have fun. Uh, I'm, I'm very playful. A lot of people ask me about the C. I put the C in because David Jones is such a common name, so it tried to like differentiate me a little bit. Uh, and I like to say the C is for comedy, but it's actually uh, for Charles, which is my, uh, birth father, the sperm donor's name. And I believe I made a difference in the gay community in Vancouver is I've always been uh, uh, an, uh, about inclusion and representation and I've always been uh, uh, fighting for marginalized people having been a marginalized person in a completely different way. Love. Uh, love is complicated. Uh, love is good. Not everybody has it, but everybody should. <laughs> um, yeah. How about the pandemic? The pandemic is, I, I'm hoping it's the birth of a new, a new world order. Gay rights need to be protected with uh, diligence. How about sexuality? Sexuality, we, we, uh, we're so shameful of sex, we're so Victorian about it. And, and I wish we could all be a lot more open about our sexual expressions. Be creative, have fun, play, you only live once. It's hard to believe when you're young, but it's true. <laughs> Well, he may have a lot of different faces, but he's got an indelible spirit. Thanks, David C. This has been John Crossenwood, Outlook TV. See you next time.